running to pick up a son. What, what are you up to? I'm trying to head your way so I can come get my babies. They look so good. I'm so excited for you to see them. Um, I'm going to be gone. How far of a drive do you have? Two hours. Two hours. Okay, that should work out good. I just have to go grab this dog and then I'll be back home. So. Which way uh, are you going? You want to meet me or whatever? I'm headed north towards McAllister, so I think I'll be going the opposite Oh, you're going direction. the opposite. Yeah, you are. Yeah. Okay. Um, but yeah, I, I'll be back by two hours, so. Okay. Um, do you want me to send you my address? Yeah, do that. Okay, sounds good. All You'll right, appreciate it. I'll see you in a little bit. All right. All right, bye. Hey man, you see what's going on east of the west business. Um, my mom bred um, eBay 2.0 to her Meech and um, eBay daughter. Um, finna go pick up some Merle puppies, man. I'm finna take y'all on a road trip. We in Fort Worth, Texas. We're gonna go to Oklahoma, Texas to pick up those pups, and we're gonna come back and see some more some more pups, man. Um, Fort Worth, Texas. I'm finna show y'all some of these genetics we've been dealing with. My mom been producing phenomenal, producing phenomenal litters back to back. So we're gonna um, show y'all a little bit of that, man. Subscribe to the YouTube channel if you're viewing. Once or twice every month, two hour drive, waking up at five in the morning, headed to Durant Animal Hospital to go have my littles. You know what I'm saying? And my mama, uh, she having her littles coming out here picking up her puppies, man. Old school course, man. I remember I had a two door red Lexus about two, three years ago. After I heard, had my first little, I went and got me a drop top Lexus. Frog eyes. In front of the dispensary. Like I said, I used to wake up at five in the morning. Take a two hour drive to the rent animal hospital with my dogs, load them up in the car, have my litters, come back home. I'll be sitting in Durant. Durant don't really go by appointments. It's pretty much first come, first serve. They open up at like eight. It's a two hour drive. So you gotta leave the house at six in the morning. So you'll be up around five in the morning. Uh, my first litter was delivered at Durant. I stayed going to the rent animal hospital for a long time until I, you know, found some more connections with um with other other vets. We're gonna get back on the road. We're 17 minutes away. Y'all stay tuned. Y'all subscribe. I'm, I'm gonna try to put my mom on camera, interview her, so she can tell you a little bit more about myself and how I get in, got into breeding and what she thought about it when I got in East and West. Where the black come from? Black. That's why I said I'm not hiding it black. Ah, <laughs> oh, man, that's crazy. Dropping litters on litter. Direct, direct forward puppies right there. That's probably from the papa or something. That's forward bred to a soldier. Hey, what is the mama off of? Seven. Is that what? What is the mama off of? <laughs> uh, soldier. Direct soldier daughter. Soldier's off Chewy. Chewy is a babe son. To some prince blood and some china blood. That's a very exclusive litter right there. The dad is full, full of his ships in China. He's located in Miami. How many puppies she had? It was seven. It was seven. Whatever. All seven good? Alright then, let me see the girls. The girls black. What they fluffies? These bullies. Yeah. Oh. Sure some pretty coat. That's it, crazy. I was like, what? Black? Uh -huh. Good. <laughs> Hook me up with one of them. Who are they? 
my mom. Gotcha, mom. All right. <laughs> gotcha. I want a black girl. I'll take the run. Put a shout out to the CEO, man. Put it together. Best from the east to the west. No play play. Right. <laughs> no play play. No play play. Real deal, just like Holyfield. On top, not the bottom. That one look good right there. What, what's that is? Yeah. That's a girl. That one, that one a little lighter though. Yeah, that's a little lighter. Which one you like better, the dark chocolate or the lighter chocolate? Watch this. I bet y'all ain't know I had this right here. You got a pop in here? Oh, perfect. Oh. You ride with it all the time. Let me see. 410. Oh. We keep product. Best of the best. Murder. Female. 410. In traffic. With the earls. <laughs> Good, he ain't let the dog get out to use it or nothing. Well, I'm gonna uh, get him cleaned up with some stuff. All right, FaceTime me back. We'll get in the bar. All right. I got you. We got seven minutes, we'll be there. That was a $5,000 stud we used on his female. He got his franchise a couple months ago. Yeah. He been taking taking losses on dogs. Um, and Meadowbrook? Yeah. What, so, what been, what's been going on? Why too, he losing? Just, just too many of them. <laughs> Too many dogs and um can't keep up. Yeah, can't keep up with them. You scared to call me? You be having a lot going on yourself. Boy. What's this puppy name? Icy. Icy. Dirty Icy. Smaller, but it's not like run too smaller, it's just real compact. It's black Merle? I think that one's a blue Merle as well. I wasn't blue sure about Merle. blue and lilac, yeah. Like her color, yeah, like mama, yeah. What's the weapon name, Shardog? Kayla, Kayla Savage, yes. Kayla Savage, yes. All right, <laughs> this first pick for sure. That one Merle. stole my heart. <laughs> Let me see. Oh, yeah. girl. Yeah, she's so precious. Lilac like and white female. She Contact. might be a try, I think. She is try. Yes. Down. Try 10 points, 10 points, 10 points, 10 points, 10 points, 10 points. Sometimes you see it down yes. there, 10 points. Her little cheeks were really starting to come through. She's precious. Short teeth. Sasha's oh. such a good mom. She's been wonderful. You want to um, tell them about yourself? Sure. Tell them where you're from, you know, how long you've been working, how long you've been breeding dogs, what got you in it. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Okay. Um, I'm Kayla Savage. I live in Durant, Oklahoma. Um, I've been a breeder for eight or nine years now. I started with Great Danes and I've just moved into the bully world. Um, 
I've been whelping for probably four years. I'm a stay-at-home mom as well, so that gives me something I can do where I can take care of my son and do what I love. So that's what we do. How much you charge to whip? Um, it starts at 400 a week, and then it just goes up from there. Um, there's different fees for different services, but I can do just about anything to help help make your whelping process easier. So she met my mom at the vet like two days ago. I mean, about two weeks ago, my mom. Um, called me and said her little was due. She said she's going to um, take me to the rent since we already had somebody lined up to whip. You know, I appreciate you for Absolutely. coming through for us, you know, yes. and keeping your word and uh, yes. taking care of our puppies. They look phenomenal. They're healthy, everything thick. I, I, I bred for this exact thing, but I didn't know for sure that it was gonna come out like this. So you always breed for something, but that don't guarantee that you're gonna get it. You gotta know how to line up the genetics. You gotta know how to line up the colors. You gotta know how to line up the breeding. And we got lilac try. We got some chocolate merls. Um, the mom pretty much produced herself in multiple different forms. Her dad is a blue try. Um, her granddad, no, her mom is a blue try, and her dad is a chocolate merl. Uh, so what color is their dad? That there is Lilac Trap. Lilac Trap. He's a Lilac Trap pimping that easy uh, grandson. Okay. Uh, this litter is related to the litter that Frenchy House dropped and Lil Chris dropped. Um, the 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 father to these puppies is the litter mate brother to the to the females that dropped the litter of eight and nine, Lil Chris and uh, French House. The litter. The, the, if y'all tune in for that litter. Uh, pups look good. Like I said, thank you. Absolutely. I'm sure you got a lot of... These are some of the prettiest puppies I've seen in a while, so you guys did a great job. You heard what she said, some of they the prettiest. Are. So you heard what she said once again. She just told you this is a top dollar breed. You know, that she just told you I know what I'm doing. If she's been breeding, I mean, if she's been whipping for how long? Almost three years. Three, four been. years, and this yes. is some of her best production. That's the proof of the pudding yes. right here. This is my first time meeting her. I spoke with her over the phone a couple times. I lined up the whipping, you know. Um, she did. She did a phenomenal job, and I'll be coming back to her. I really had like three litters for her to do, but one of my one of my franchise members was already whipping puppies, so I let him, you know, cover a, a puppy or two. But when you're in the breeding dogs, you meet good people, you meet good connects, um, you get your puppies to the curb, you get your production on the ground. Dog breeding can open many doors. You can hear a lot of testimonies and stories about how it can help you. Like she said, she's a stay at home mom, just take care of her finances. Whipping puppies, you know what I'm saying? We in Oklahoma, we just crossed that little bitty tiny bridge. <laughs> <laughs> oh, the scary bridge down the yeah, road, yeah. yes. When you get in the breeding, you see a lot, you learn a lot, you know, and it takes you further. It open up new doors, you know what I'm saying? So, me and Kayla will do further business east of the west. We about to get back to Fort Worth, Texas. With these puppies, we got the mom. Um, she said she was a phenomenal mom. An excellent mom. How, and that passes on to the puppies, so that's important. How, 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 how many moms have you seen like her? Have you have you seen a lot of moms that like take care of everything? That top with? quality, like the level of care she gives her puppies, I would say one out of fifteen probably that are th that do that good of a job. She made my job easy, and moms like that are a dime a dozen. They're they're not easy to come by. And she's producing, so she's yes. a good mom. That's 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 phenomenal. And she also produces. It's not easy to get mom that are good moms and also able to produce good production. Take care of their puppies, you know, make their job pretty much easy. I'm sure she was keeping them warm, she was licking them, she was feeding them all. She lets me know when it's time for them to eat before my timer goes off. I mean, she's a really good mom. Pop, They're pop, pop. fattest chicks. Yeah, I like this puppy. I'm gonna love this puppy. Yes. With the look on. She's so cute. Look at her little back legs. <laughs> she's so precious. How does she let you know it's time for them to eat? Um, she'll just kind of start getting antsy, come find me, and she'll check on the puppies, come back and get me, come back, like, okay, it's time for the puppies to eat. So the dogs really do communicate. They with do. You. Dogs communicate in their own way. Dogs can talk, but they don't talk verbally. They show you by their, their body language. Yes, you know what I'm absolutely. Saying? So, so was you keeping them put up or you just let up? Let up? Um, I would separate them if I couldn't be in the room. Um, I spend a lot of time in the room with them, but if I leave, then I then I either take mom with me or this put the puppies in the incubator. Yes. Female. Look at that really smashed face. Super smashed face. So yes. The mom is pretty a cleaner style dog, so I bring her to a more exotic dog with a more smashed face to you know put the exotic with it, shrinking the muzzle, you know compact the girth it. She gave me 
one out of four of what I expected. But that doesn't mean that these puppies would not turn out like I expected. Right. They're early. They're only two weeks. That one's a try as well. I can see the booty. The cheeks are kind of coming through. Oh, this will try. Can you do a lot of try? Yes. Three try? This yes. one, this one's big too. Yeah. It's a male? Yep. Uh, that's, that's the a female. Girl. Yes, there's only one male. One male, three yep. females. So two male females and a lilac tribe. Yep. So that's the male? Yeah, uh, yes, that's the male. Everything looks healthy. So what what vitamins was you was you giving her along the weapon process? Um, so Sasha was on I use the Breeders Edge Oxy Mate, Oxy uh, Mama, those products. So she was taking Oxy Mama and then I was using the Anook Shook um, 3232 formula to keep her calories up. Cause she's really been putting all of her energy into her milk production, so just giving her as much calories as possible, and then uh, the Oxy Mama for her milk production as well. How many dogs do you own? I have 14 dogs. 14 dogs. Yes, <laughs> I do, and a three-year-old son, so it's a little crazy. Is it just you? It's me, and then I have a boyfriend that helps me a lot. You like dogs a lot? He's learning to. <laughs> so you, so you pretty much the one like, yeah, I want to do dogs, and I've been, you've been sticking to it. Yes, it's been me and my son most of the time, and then he's come along and been a big help. But how old yeah, is your son? He's three. He, he, he has fire dogs. red hair. <laughs> he little dog. He does. It's he knows to stay away from the puppies, but sometimes the temptation is hard for him. He wants to love on them all. That's how my daughter is. Yes, he wants to hold them all, but he knows he knows he has to have. How many males and how many females you have? I have one male, and everyone else is a female. I just have one stud dog. What do y'all for? Um, he's actually one of my great Danes. Um, okay, so you got fourteen. I. Eight of those are Danes, uh -huh. and then the rest are bullies. I have one XL that I still have, and then I have pockets. So, as far as the Great Danes, like, what is like, what is the market on those? Um, the market's kind of declining in Great Danes. It's very saturated right now. Everyone's been breeding them. Um, they're wonderful dogs, and I'm I'm moving out of Danes because of the saturation. Um, most of mine are imported from other countries, and I'm having trouble, you know, networking and moving dogs of that they, quality. They, so they don't have like Great Dane shows. Okay, so mine are European bred, so they're not fit to the AKC standard. So you can go to like an AKC show, but they don't have like you do a bully show. They look a diff they look different. Yes. So they have seen? like heavier features. Yeah, we can walk over here and you can see them. Just make sure they can't. Yeah, right that'd be great. Keep puppies. You gotta yeah, keep, keep the puppies warm. warm. You know yes. what I'm saying? I'll get that gate for you. There we go. I'm so sorry this thing So they have like heavier jowls, they're saggier, they're bigger hunters. You got some puppies over there available? Uh, I they all got home. Yeah. Can you look at them? <laughs> 
This be you. Yeah, this is the male. See a merle? Uh, he's a blue harlequin. Yeah. Yes. How long you been having this set right here? I've only had this for a few months. Oh, right back. White and you would never know. You would think that dog was a white dog, but actually, those dogs carry color. If the parents are some colored dog, a lot of those dogs be carrying more color than you expect. So if you get a white dog or you see a white dog, you get a good deal on it, you know, because it's white. But it come out color. Parents, you could, you know, get a steel deal on it, DNA tested. It could come out something different than what you actually expect. taking care of dogs, yeah, we got free feeders out here, you know, big water buckets to keep everybody hydrated and keep them well nutrients. No play play, east and west, the best of the best, man. Kayla Savage, man, Oklahoma, Texas, man. Corey Brown, I appreciate you. She's a nice lady, you know what I'm saying? She's genuine hearted. Um, she does her job, man. Kayla Savage, man, east and west. Sit 
event right here is two hours away from Fort Worth, Texas. Um, I'm pretty sure since it's a smaller town, that's why the price of everything is low. Their C section is around three hundred dollars in the city. Their C section is around seven hundred, eight hundred to a thousand. Okay. Now they don't rose up to four fifty, but it used to be like three eighty, yeah. three hundred yeah. something. Right. So this uh, this vet right here, it does a lot um, for animals. They have a lot of animals coming through here. This doc, phenomenal doc. I'm pretty sure most most of the breeders in the DFW have in been to this vet, and this was the vet that everybody was going to early in the stage of uh, you know doing bullies because they were cheap, you know. Uh, but they got new vets, people finding out about politicking and, uh, you know, talking to more people. None are really in Fort Worth, Texas that are cheap. You always got to drive an hour out somewhere to, like, smaller little cities. But this Duran Animal Hospital right here. Okay. Legendary place right here, man. A lot of dogs, high power dogs that was created in Texas. It's, uh, it's pulled right here. This this vet, I'm sure it did a lot of the high power dog uh, six section. Some people wanted her, some people lost her, some people lost the dog in her. Some people, dogs, you know, was uh, kept alive here, you know what I'm saying? So without this place, a lot of people wouldn't have had their litter. A lot of people wouldn't have, wouldn't have been able to afford a C section. So this place has helped a lot as far as the bullet community and dog. This is what. Tessa! Hey, Dr. Bills in there? Uh, somewhere. Doing the uh, I don't know what he's doing, but he's somewhere. What's up, Doc? So we'll recheck tomorrow. Have a so, with that? Uh, two. Do you want to so. do C-section? I'll follow on with you. She's fixing dominoes. Yesterday was a big deal. Where are you from? Dominoes? No. I'm pretty young. I'm just about to order it. Can you do I do this film with the project. Yeah. I bring on the platform to be on YouTube and showing what I like being in. You know, I'm where you from? Phenomenal Dr. Mills right here on camera. On camera. Um, this is his first ever to ever being on the vlog, you know what I'm saying? I'm the first one to ever do it. The Rent Animal Hospital, I was telling him how this is a phenomenal place. You saved a lot of dogs, you produced, you, you did a lot of C-sections um, for dogs that are phenomenal in the, in the bully game. Mm -hmm. I'm sure you do a lot more than just bullies, but as far as bullies, I'm sure most of the dogs that come from Fort Worth, Texas have come here. Or most of the people that breed that way. A what lot. all services do you provide here yeah. at Animal Durant Hospital? Uh, yeah, we, we do all kinds of so work for the Metroplex and anywhere from Waco to Oklahoma City to a few clients down there in, Oklahoma, in Houston. So uh, I've even had one guy drove from Albuquerque so we could take care of him. But um, main thing, of course, is uh, we do we do a lot of repo work and progesterone testing. Uh, we tell everybody we make them and we take them. So. Um, you know, we, we enjoy it. Uh, we love bringing life into the world. And, uh, uh, you know, of course, we take care of the catastrophes, too. You know, like the occasional pyometrias and the contagious breast cancers and, and you know, a few problems with prostatic problems as these uh, bullies get a little older. It does happen, I'm afraid. So, uh, but uh, we do everything we can to keep them going as long as we can. So, uh, we, you know, we realize they're a special breed and they, have, they do have their special needs, you know, but... Uh, but we try to recognize those and, and deal with them the best we can. Why so. did you feel like people come our way from uh, New Mexico or Houston to come to Durant Animal Hospital? Oh, I, I, I guess I guess because you know we've been told that, 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 that we show that we care, and uh, you know we do care, and, and uh, we, we love it, and uh, um, you know we, we want. Like I say we, we enjoy bringing that life into the world, so we do our best to try to do it right. We run, uh, you know progesterone test all the time to make sure we take these puppies at the correct time get good viable puppies out and uh, uh, you know and it pays off it's, it's, it's worth it all um, even yesterday Christmas Day I had my granddaughter up here um, had a dog here for c-section watch she couldn't I couldn't find any of my regular help 
and uh, we delivered uh, 10 beautiful uh, bully puppies. So, 37 years now, and I'm hoping to make it to uh, make it that 40, uh, but uh, definitely shoot for that 65 year old mark. Probably, probably that's two years from now. Probably once I get to 65, I'll just slow her down a little bit and still keep coming in. So, but we do have a new guy um, that's doing great, and uh, we got some excellent vets here now. We got Dr. Zacharnelli. He's a he's a, a retired guy from Wyoming, uh, but he's putting in hours. And we have a new guy called uh, Dr. Kemp, um, and uh, um, I've actually been praying for years to, for somebody to come along take my place. And I think he's definitely right up there to do it. So he's he's definitely showed a big interest in this people world, and so far everybody's really liked him. So we are blessed. Doc, I, I, I done came through here quite a bit and I always see, well, sometimes I see different animals. Sometimes I see cows and horses. <laughs> like, what other animals do you do you deal with? I've, I've actually operated on everything from gerbils to elephants. So, uh, but uh, of course I love the bulldogs. So, you, you, yep. you, you did procedures on elephants? Well, that was up in Oklahoma City at the zoo. Uh, but uh, I've actually done, here at this clinic, I've actually done the lions and tigers and bears. Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> That's crazy. Hey, Doc, how long ago was it when you started seeing, like, um, Frenchies and, and bullies, like, frequently coming through here? Well, the, so the English, the English Bulldogs the ones that really got started back in the late 80s. And then the Frenchies really took off in the 90s. And, of course, turn of the century, the bullies have, you know, they're, they're probably our number one breed right now. So but it's been all it's been bulldogs my whole career. So when you start seeing the extreme bullies like the micros and exotics, how long ago was it when you start seeing those come? Oh through? boys, we, we've been taking care of them. You know, they, they got bred down, and, and we helped do do a lot of that breeding. Uh, you know, uh, so so uh, so that's boy, that's been over the last I would say since the turn of the century. But we've been you know uh, shrinking them down in size and and. Uh, Everybody's doing that through selective breeding, and uh, so it's you know it's a blessing to be able to be part of that. So you know the traditional American bulldog is where it all started with the bullies. Yes, sir. And then they, you know they started just breeding them down, and uh, uh, so you know, you know the American bulldog now and the bullies are just basically two different breeds. You know, so now, it, it, yep. So now yeah. they got fluffy Frenchies, they got wire hair Frenchies, they got pink Frenchies, they yep. got uh, yeah. Isabella's. Like, have you been seeing? Oh yeah, we, we've got the ones now, the the, the hairless Frenchies, you yeah, know. So you've been yeah, seeing, you've been yeah, a lot of no, hairless. Yes, I've delivered a few litters of those already. So, yep, yep. So, how much yeah. do they say those hairless Frenchies range from? Oh, I don't, I, I don't, I don't ever do the pricing game. I just take care of them. You know, that's the blessing. Man, I don't, what's I, the plan, man? Legendary <laughs> Dr. Mills, man. You come here, you get good to the girl, man. We got the red down the hospital in Oklahoma, man. The best of the best from the east to the west. This the man right here. I'm pretty sure that most of the people that was breeding look bullies for the last five years that had to come here until they found better pricing or didn't want to drive for it. This guy right here is the guy that had the best prices pretty much around, you know, I say in Texas, um, as far as my knowledge, you know what I'm saying? A lot of people come from Dallas, a lot of people come from Waco, a lot of people come from Ford, Texas, and see the around my hospital, Dr. Mills, and he's helped a lot of people. Best of the best pieces. I guess the ironic part about that is, is the Metroplex, if you ever look it up, the Metroplex actually includes Durant, Oklahoma. I don't know why, but it's like, it, it actually includes Durant, Oklahoma. So I guess we're blessed to be a part of that. So, yeah, yeah, I'm, yeah. I'm, I'm having a festival. I want to bring out a lot of animals that'll be in Dallas, Texas. Um, I'm, I'm not doing like a regular dog show. I'm having a big name artists coming out. It'll be an outside event, you know what I'm saying? It'll be like 70 degrees. If we can come outside and enjoy the animals and politics and meet new people, I also got to get into reptiles now. Um, I met you probably about four or five years ago coming through here. Do you mind if I come through here with some flyers? That's fine with me. That's fine with me. How much do you think it'll be for like to have a fly out here? So oh, I don't know. I have no idea. You have to talk. Again, you have to. I just get the pleasure of working here anymore. So you have to talk to the. Yeah, I say uh, I work for a great group of veterinarians. And, and uh, uh, the nice part about it is now that I'm semi retired, supposedly. Um, you know, I, 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 I try to retire I just, multiple times. I, yeah, I know, but I, <laughs> and I still put in the hours. But uh, you know, um, I, I get to just take care of the dogs now. I don't have to worry about the management. So I, that's another big blessing. I, I just I get to do I get to do those C sections, and and, and uh, when it comes to the rest of it, uh, yeah, I, that's somebody else's game. Now. <laughs> what's, what's five things you can tell them that they need to know about Frenchie breeding and bully breeding? 
Well, you know, so many people, I guess the biggest thing, so many people think it's an easy thing to do. Huh. And, you know, it's a lot of work. You know, anybody that's been in it can tell you that. You know, you, you got to put the hours in, uh, you know, and, and you kind of you gotta, you gotta know the game. You got to kind of know the dogs, uh, you know, and, and uh, uh, so, you know, that's the thing is to realize you got to put the hours in. And, and the time in, and of course, once it's all said and done, you know, if, if, once you do it, like anything in this world, uh, you you have to earn it. But once you earn it, you, you know, you can be proud you of. It. Yeah, you can be proud of it. So, yep. Okay. Anything else? Jump in there, dog. All right. Don't appreciate do your job. All right. All right. All right. All right. All right. Appreciate y'all. Take sir. care. <laughs> East of the West, best of the best, legendary, legendary Durant Animal Hospital, man, we just broke it down. Wow. They do all the breeding. Make sure you get your breeding done. Make sure you get them completed. Make sure you're doing right. Make sure your puppies get delivered right. Make sure they got the proper vitamins, nutrients. Your puppy's dying. He can save it, bring it back to life. If you want to get in the bully game, tune in, subscribe to the channel, man. I'm bringing a lot that people haven't seen. This doctor himself has delivered a lot of puppies and, um, been a major factor in the bullet community and uh, dog breeding period. Camera man falling on his ass. He's he, he nervous. He ain't never seen nothing like this before. He's to the way. Fluffy, you know, working in the USA, really. I just found one. You see what I was saying now, right? I see the beef on this bitch. Beef, man. That little female is rough. Even though they black try, they still gonna be hard. Mm -hmm. This shit, when you breed black try to Merle, it throw every color inside this bitch. You can see the uh, color with the camera mm -hmm. on the mouth. I see that. Oh, shit, ain't no solid black dog. Trying to call, bro. I'm gonna fuck hard right here. I like that chocolate on the motherfucker, though. I know that. Please leave your message for five one seven nine. 
Black blue, that black dog. So, you know, what's that? Uh, it gotta be a dark blue or a dark blue. That one's black. Remind me to look at me on some phone. Can't wait to see that muscle on the bitch. Where they get them little rolls at, though? You see the rolls on the bottom of their feet? That's the dirt. Like, my mother and daddy got that. That's what I wanted. No cap. <laughs> That's what I wanted. Them little wrinkles on the bottom of their feet. That damn chocolate, that this chocolate look, look different, like. That shit look green. light color. Not that deep, I thought that was that deep. It look like trash face. Cut that, cut that green light off. This a darker one, you think? Yeah. Damn, it look like you got three shades of that shit. Nah, them two the same. On that phone gas, can <laughs> I still think she built the best though. She built like a that's that that's that thick one. That's like a tank. I like that one. I like I like a lot of fun. Especially, I like that one a lot. That chocolate on her. Yeah. To the neck on it. These puppies are a couple hours old. Seven puppies. Direct soldier uh, daughter to bait. That soldier daughter, the, what is the mama off of? She off of uh, TDK Blue Bunny. Bred to uh, what we did, Sass Sasso. No, Blue Bunny is Sasso's daughter. daughter. Blue Bunny is Sasso's daughter. Yeah, so, uh, so what's your name? Baker. Baby. Blue Bunny is Sasso. I mean, this Baker is Blue Bunny. So that's that Blue place. Blue so basically, look at this. So that place I took you to earlier, Durant Animal Hospital, I told you. Um, that's why I delivered my first litter. Miss Baker is the female that produced my first litter for me. We took Miss Baker which was a, a blue brindle dog. She's blue and white brindle. We took her to a black trot. That's what we think these puppies are getting that color from. Um, we produced, I produced uh, Blue Bunny. Keon Cole on Blue Bunny, off of me, you know, um, that was four, four by, what, four uh, or five? 20, 20, probably 2020, not 2019, huh? Yeah, about four or five years ago. So this still, you know, even though you, you know, produce something four or five years ago, that does not mean it don't work. You keep that blood in your program. That's why I co owner with uh, Keon Gray Day, talked about Kendall's Gray Day, and he's been working the blood ever since. He took Blue Bunny, he took Blue Bunny the Soldier. Yes, sir. He took and, Blue Bunny the Soldier. And got the mother to these puppies. So, um, the Sasso dog was our Triple J bullies. We did the, uh, we did Blue Bunny to Soldier. We liked it what we did there. And then we took. Bombay, which was Blue Webby. Bunny the soldier daughter? Yeah, no, but Webby daughter, which was the bait, the Luetta granddaughter. And okay. complimented the added the pretty boy, which helped with the trial. So this is this is also some Bombay shit. Yeah, no, nah, this is Bombay daughter. Bred to uh So you took, you took Bombay the soldier. Okay, so you took Bunny and, and bred it to Webby and produced Bombay. Right. And Bombay produced We bred Bombay the Soldier. And she made Trakeisha. We produce basically almost every female. That so is this like four generations? Yeah, we like, yeah, I'll tell you, we like, we deep in that. <laughs> we deep. This pedigree. Like so Miss Baker was, Miss Baker was bred to Sasso. That produced Blue Bunny. Blue Bunny was bred to Webby? Webby. And then we took Webby. I mean, the, uh, the Bombay off of that breeding. And bred it to Soji. Then we took so Webby, Soji's daughter. So, so when he took the Sasso, he took the Sasso and bred it to Miss Baker. He produced, I mean, I produced Blue Bunny. Blue Bunny, he took to his a dog he owned named Webby, which was off of a pretty boy daughter, bred to a babe son, uh, Lil' Widow. Yeah. No, 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 no. Not, the, uh, no, hold on, let me break it down. Basically, um, the pretty they took the pretty boy daughter and bred it to Lil' Widow, which is, uh, no, they took a pretty boy daughter and bred it to Bape, which created Lil' Widow. They took... Lil' Widow to June Williams female, 
Um, Penny. That's Hayes Jr. And that was that the was that the little bags bitch? Nah, she was she was uh she was she he made that was when he did his Hayes Jr. breathing. So he took some. It wasn't had no bags in there. It was Bellagio, Hayes Jr. 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 Hayes Jr.
his chest is a little bit more close in. She got a wider spread than him. He's more muscular, so we're gonna we're gonna open up that spread a little bit, put some knots on that. Uh, he'll add the head, the clean body structure. These are not dogs that come out looking like bulldoggy and super exotic from day one. These are dogs that mature into real bulls. That one got a split down the head like the daddy. We got chocolates and black trials. These, this dog was, was paid, this dog was bought for 250000 So if you want some of these genetics, you hit up Top Dollar Kennels. Grade A, I put his number on here. I put his Instagram on here for you can hit him up. If you want some good, clean blood that's going to constantly produce muscle, that's like first drip off this China blood, this form shit, like none of this has really been done. And this dog is from China. A lot of people from the United States don't mix China blood into their program because they don't know how it's produced. So we some of the first, um, some of the first people to produce some of this. You know what I'm saying? That's uh, that got some platform. My boy, pretty much in his weapon stage, where he got a pool. Uh, he got some, he got some puppy pads in there. He got his heater. This has been successful for him. Um, this has been successful for him multiple times. He whipped a lot of my puppies. She looked mad. What's up? I can't wait to see these puppies mature. Chocolates. You got one chocolate girl? Uh, I think it's two chocolate girls and a boy. That's a boy. That's a boy. Yeah. It's a boy, Kim. Yeah. Two boys and one girl. Put it over here. Them two twins. Just a girl over here. Damn, the girl is a dark one. I thought it was two chocolate girls. Look at. Take this to that crazy bone shit and bust that ass. If you notice, at first when he had the heat over there, all the puppets was over there. When you put the peat in the middle, now all the them line up in the middle. That's crazy, right? Alright. So we brought China to Fort Texas, grade A. China right here now. You know, we're gonna take these puppies, we're gonna add some more color onto it, some more bone into it, a little bit more spread. Puppies gonna stay with head. They've been throwing domes for a minute. We generations in too. It's not just no, not just something we just decided to put together. Like you said, we're on our third, fourth generation with this litter right here. We almost to the point where if we take a, 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 a one of our males to it, it's gonna say our name almost the whole pig. So these dogs that you can breed up, I don't know say great names of paper. You can put them, you can put them, you got some of their papers. Look, basically like what like I was telling y'all, uh, this is my first breeding right here, Sad Soda Miss Baker. Um, it should have a date on her. Nah, but it don't. Right here, watch this. Huh? Got right here. Okay, so check this out. Um, we bought Miss Baker, Miss Baker was off the rock to uh, New Cedar, if I, if I recall some bullseye. Oh, look, the day, the day Soldier and Bunny was bred together? Nah, that's uh Day to back 2020, that's Soldier and Bunny. Yeah. So boom, you uh, they bred a bully camp line dog to a dog named China to produce Sasso. Triple J Bullies owned her. We took her to Miss Baker, I think in 2019, and produced Blue Bunny. Uh, I co-owned Blue Bunny with him. 
um, he bought a dog named Webby. Webby was off of a uh, bait, bred to a pretty boy daughter that produced Little Widow. The mom, Penny, June Williams was the owner. He bred Hayes Jr. to this female right here. So he got some OG blood up in here. Took Blue Bunny and bred it to uh, Webby. You took the Blue Bunny right here. Blue, Blue Bunny was born in, I don't get this, 2018. So this is a dog I produced 20, 19, 20, 21, five years ago. Um, dang, five years ago. Took Blue Bunny and bred it to Soji. And the birth, this, when we bred Blue Bunny to Soji, those puppies came out uh, in 2020. It's 2023, right? Uh, my boy got papers on papers. He's going through his papers right now. Um, you looking at blood that I was working with five years ago, you know? This, a lot of people, y'all be in my comments talking about uh, where your dogs and where your dogs. These, these are some of my production still working from five years ago. You looking at the roots of it, you know, this is the beginning. My first litter, I just took y'all to. Y'all been with me all day. This is what I do all day, do dogs. And I've been doing these dogs five years. We still uh, dropping back to back. We just put some more muscle on that shit. It's gonna be very different than uh, everybody else, you know. We don't know if they gonna be show dogs or they gonna be production dogs. But they definitely juiced up and we know how to breed. So we gonna get the best of the best out of, out of that. Man, that shit was five years ago. Still got it. 2018 breeding. That's when I was going to go see Doc, way in 2018. Hey, Pop, you got it? Uh, he here now. He, he do? Doing he, still now. All right. 2018, man, TDK Blue Bunny. As you, as you, as you can see, it's Bombay Grade A. She's off of uh, Bombay. Blue, Blue Bunny daughter bred to widow. So he took Bombay and bred it to who? I bred uh, Bombay the soldier. You don't got no, got nah. he gonna pull that up, he gonna pull that out. Bombay the soldier. Blue Bunny, Blue Bunny and Bombay went to soldier? Yeah. So you got, you two time soldier? I, I can. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I can, but I ain't did it yet. This was the, uh, this soldier song. This Bombay to Soldier right here, right? Yeah, that's uh, that's the that's the Blue Bunny to Soldier. Okay, this Soldier pig right here. Soldier is off of uh, Prince. A lot of y'all know Prince. Uh, to exquisite bullies, uh, Allen. If y'all know Allen, um, Allen is part of the what's the, what's their podcast? Uh, uh, the podcast? The Bully Pig Spots. Bully Spitting Podcast. Alan bred Prince to this female and got K Spade bred it to Chewy. That's how he produced Soldier. Um, a dog that's in demand right now is uh, Crazy Bone. Crazy Bone is off Soldier, Little May's sister. Soldier was a well known producing dog in the DFW area. He's a direct babe grandson. And if I'm not mistaken, this Safari dog, she's a babe daughter or she's a Yoda daughter or something like that. You don't got a, uh, well this is the papers too. Iguana? Yeah. This is Iguana, yo, the girl little mate sister, right? The mama little uh, sister? That's, uh, they have brother and sister. So her and Soji got the same dad. I mean, uh. And this yeah. dog's producing 2020. Man, it's East to the West checking in. We just made it back to DFW, to Fort Worth, Texas, man. We got seven new puppies. I showed y'all some more puppies. Went to Oklahoma to go pick up those puppies my mom produced. I took y'all to the vet that delivered my first litter, which was the female that he started all his generations with. We will be at the Top Dollar West Mont Festival, October 29, 2023. Make sure you be there to see these puppies. All of my supporters and fans, I would like for y'all to be there to see these genetics. It's four generations, it's five years of work, blood, sweat, and tears, and seven piece. It's not normal for you to have seven puppies when you're dealing with a micro exotic bully. All of their ants have been dropping eights and nines. Those are big litters. We got three chocolate tries. 
and four black tribes. You got three females and four males. Very healthy, little everything was successful, no clefts. None got left at the vet. You got full of color, full of genetics, and full of pet, full of our work. You got top dollar kennels, grade A up in here. You finna do some weeks, weeks of whipping. I'll be showing you these puppies later on. And like I said, top dollar West Month Festival, October 29th, Dallas, Texas. Y'all have followed me around and seen a whole day of uh, top dollar kennel, what we do every day, which is dog work. Y'all seen how uh, a day in the life of 30 Reach goes. Puppies, 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 production, production, production. Years and years and years. Shout out to the CEO, man. TDK, we're in the fourth generation. I'm about to see something. You gotta tell me that, bro. I'm looking at you the see head. unique head on the top? Yeah, look, yeah. look at look at their top score. What that separation. Yeah, see that? Yeah. See how far yeah. that ear separation is? That's a unique look. That's how soldier you throw? Soldier oh, throw just, soldier throw. Closer? Yeah, but it's, it's like, it just you ain't seen top score. Yeah. You ain't seen it spread out. Yeah, That's right. the challenge shit. You got good eye separation on the puppies already like look how look how far their eyes are apart like you got to turn them to see they, they eyes that's unique yeah <laughs> Keon say he in the lab you see how many more of got eyes separated <laughs> 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 you see how many more of got eyes see that see how that gap right there that's the soldier shit you were talking about huh? yeah. this one got 10 points all around his jaw wow. top of Bull tails, complete bulls, what they be talking about, man. Complete bulls. They will not, I, I stand on that, they will not be big dogs. Their mama was 27 pounds when we bred her. Throwing dogs with body like this. Hold it in front of the camera. Top dollar kennels. Top dollar kennels underscore grade A. You want to follow that fourth generation. I Man, been working, you know what I'm saying? Hard, year after year after year, hard, keeping everything and breeding it, you know, line breeding it, and breeding it. He, he sucked his program. To me, I've been selling a lot and doing a lot of, and getting a lot of mixing and a lot of, and doing a lot of dogs. He's sticking to his program, he's sticking to his blood, everything he produced, he pretty much keeping it and breeding it up, you know what I'm saying? I, I'm really surprised he kept all them dogs and, and, and continued with that blood. That was the blood I was using five years ago. He still got it. I don't know. Which I don't know how he's surprised because he the one gave me the plan with, with the first breeding we did together. I I really didn't get got what I wanted. He was like, bro, keep them females and breed it, do this with it, and do that. And that's what I've been doing. I did that. I did that for a specific reason for this right here to to continue putting the breeds together to see how that blood matures, how that turned out. So even though I'm doing something different, I still kept this over here to see how that. You know how, how that production go, goes. And he stuck to it. He didn't switch up. You know what? What he wanted. He didn't say, "Hey, nah, I ain't go. I ain't gonna keep that, bro. I, I'm gonna go a different way." He he kept the cleaner style dog with the most of the full tail and a, and a little color. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. He wanted structure over color, and then was structured dogs. Sasso was a black tri dog, but he was he was ripped up like five years ago. Yeah, like like he, crazy. Yeah, crazy fronts. I like, it looked like he like he see I, why I liked it so much. The dog that we did the TDK. Blue Bunny and Soji, I think they kind of tapped into Sasso because Iguana and, and, and uh, Soji, they put, they had fronts like, like you know what I'm saying, you had to be there to see it, RP Iguana. But that's like, I seen it, bro came with the plan telling me do this, do this, do this. I feel like every breeding I done hit got, you know what I'm saying, got better, better in time. Better, better production. Yeah, get better in time. So the plan he been saying to do is working. So I can't. Can't complain with that. That motherfucker got a nice hit on that bike. Mm -hmm. We're gonna see how they look in three weeks.